सुख प्रदान करे जिससे उनके मन की जो इच्छा युद्ध करने की वो करके उनको आनंद और सुख मिले यही सेवा का कर्तव्य होना है ध्यान से सुनो सारी सेवा एक प्रकार की नहीं इसमें दो कैटेगरी एक सेवा जिसको करके मुझको सुख लगेगा दूसरी सेवा ये करके उनको सुख लगेगा जहां पर ये करके मुझको सुख लगेगा इसमें मेरा स्वार्थ मैं अपने सुख की इच्छा कर रहा हूं जिसकी सेवा जो सेवे हैं उसकी सुख की इच्छा नहीं कर रही लेकिन जहां पर अपने सेवे जिनकी मैं सेवा करना चाह रहा हूं चाह रही हूं उनके मन की उनके सुख के अनुसार जो सेवा की जाती है उनके संतोष के लिए उनके आनंद के लिए उनकी प्रीति के लिए वहां पर प्रेम बढ़ता है उसको वास्तव में सेवा कर so when we serve for the happiness of the master that is called service we respect a vaishnava and we want to serve that vaishnava but i will serve by my own desire by my own ways because i am feeling bliss in that but that vaishnava is feeling bliss or not we don't think then that's not service because there is self interest in gopis in radha ji they don't have any desire for themselves whatever sham sundar whatever krishna likes they just consider that as their happiness for example bhagwan vishnu ke charan dava vishnu ji lakshmi ji massage is the lotus feet of vrindavan mein aap seva ko mein jaoge to wahan par ek drishya aisa dekhne ko milta hai jahan par shri krishna radha ji ke charan dava but when we go to vrindavan we find a vision where krishna is massaging the lotus feet of radha ji how is it possible that radha ji is making krishna the supreme lord massage hey, her lotus feet how is it possible people do not understand they cannot digest this but here radha ji is showing one siddhan Sham Sundar really loves serving me, and anything which makes him blissful, that's bliss to me. Otherwise, Sita Ji would never let Ram Ji to touch her feet. Sita Ji is thinking about her standards, but Radha Ji, she is thinking about Krishna. who is the beloved of radha rani she is thinking about krishna's happiness more for example guru ji comes in the house and guru ji says oh my son i am really very hungry uh, i am really very thirsty please give me some water and the disciple says oh guru ji i have made lassi for you oh my son i really want water only i am feeling very thirsty Oh no guru ji i have made this buttermilk for you please take this i brought curd from the uh, market i added gulab jal rose water i have added uh, saffron all these things guru ji say no i want only water i am feeling very thirsty for water but the disciple saying no no guru ji please take this buttermilk only so what is the meaning of this so here one's own happiness is considered as service where guru ji wants something where guru ji is satisfied we are not doing that and that kind of service requires sacrifice sacrifice of one's every desire keeping guru ji's desire as the topmost and as per his desire serving him this is called real service गुरु जी आई हर्ड इन कथा दैट मसाजिंग योर लोटस फीट वी गेट्स भक्ति ओ गुरु जी से इज दैट ओ दिस माई सन प्लीज डोंट मसाज माई फीट आई एम रियली हैविंग अ हेड एक प्लीज मसाज माई हेड नो 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 गुरु जी द भक्ति यू टोल दैट भक्ति वी कैन अटेन ओनली बाई मसाजिंग योर लोटस फीट सो आई विल मसाज योर लोटस फीट ओनली 
Lotus feet are best, so I will not leave them. I will just massage them. I will just completely do that, but not your head. So, what is this service? This service is not service. That's why servants also are of different category. One is Kanisht Sevaka. Kanisht means the lowest category servant. I'll explain with an example. See, the uh, Kanisht servant is like, Oh, Guruji says, Oh, my son, please bring water. The disciple just goes and halfway only he returns back and says, Oh, Guruji, I forgot to ask, should I give you hot water or cold water or just normal water? Oh, my son, any water, just bring as fast as possible. I am feeling very thirsty. Oh, I just bring, I am just bringing. See, he is desiring a lot to serve. With so much love also, he wants to serve. But, he is not able to understand where to do what. And there, the mind is not working. Himself is just thinking, oh, it's me, I am the servant, I am doing this, I am doing that. So again he went halfway he come back came back and said oh I forgot to ask Guruji should I bring in steel glass or uh, different glass oh my son please bring in any container I want to drink then again he goes halfway and come, comes back and says should I just bring in my hand or I should bring in the tray or something Guruji says somehow or other just bring it Guruji, oh, no, no, Guruji, just bring it at once. Now, he went, he went up till kitchen and then again, see the brain is, he again came back. He said, just last question, Guruji, you want tap water or bisleri water? Now, Guruji says that, oh, my son, you stay here only, I, I'll just go and drink water. I'll not uh, disturb you. So he's having so much desire to serve, but not understanding the moods. That how to serve. This is Kanisht. Above this comes a servant, which is Madhyam. Who, how he is? The one whom we do not have to speak, do not is not needed to speak. Who by serving has become so expert that does not even need to give a signal. He knows perfectly that what Guruji knows or what Guruji wants right now. How Guruji will be happy at what time, what he requires and everything. This is Madhyam, this is intermediate. But there are some categories even below these categories. One category is called Baan. Like Dhanush Baan means bow and arrow. So, for example, a Guruji asked the disciple to go and do some work. Now, the disciple went and he didn't return back. He didn't return back. There is another category which is called Ali. Means Bhavra, B, Black B. So how the disciple is always saying that, oh, why only I am doing all the service? All others are just sleeping and eating. I am doing all services. Why others are not doing anything? So he always complains like this. Now there is another category which is the lowest of all. That is called like... A, Lakir Kafakir, that means who just uh, works as the words has been said by Guruji, like exactly as Guruji has said, not will apply any kind of brain, not applying any brain. <laughs> so, Guru and disciple both, they went for preaching, sitting on a horse. At that time there was no car or something. So they used to go in horse only for preaching. 
So Guruji said that, Oh my disciple, please be with me. And just remember, you walk besides and behind. So whatever falls from the horse back, whatever belongings or whatever things we are carrying, if it falls, then please carry it back. Now the disciple said, Yes, yes, Guruji, I will surely do whatever you want. So now he is not using his brain. Now just few meters they went and the horse passed stool. <coughs> he ran like anything, just lift that whole stool and brought to Guruji. Guruji, you told that whatever will fall from horse, you just have to bring it back and keep it. So Guruji said, hey, not this man. I said that whatever will fall from Guruji's back, oh, from uh, horse's back, not this stool which is a belonging of horse, the belongings of me which are kept on the back of horse. So the disciple said, oh sorry, sorry Guruji, I actually am very less intelligent. So you please give me a list what to actually lift, what not to lift. Then I will serve you so perfectly that you will have no complaints. So Guruji gave a whole list. I have three set of clothes, one kartal, one medang, one bucket, one mug. The whole list Guruji gave that if any of these things fell, fall from the hearts, then you please keep it back. So he gave her this list. So now, the disciple said, Okay, Guruji. Now, Guruji is walking with so much love. And now, after some time, the feet of horse got stuck somewhere and Guruji himself fell on the ground. Now, this disciple is walking with the horse and the Guruji is calling out from behind, Hey, wait, wait, at least lift me up. So now, the disciple said, your name is not on the list. He is checking the list. Oh, Guruji's name is not there on the list, so how can I just pick him up? <laughs> so he just left Guruji there itself. <laughs> so if I just lift him up, he may get angry. So he just told that keep everything, lift everything that is there in the lift, list. So this is called Lakir Ka Fakir. Means whatever has been said, we'll just do that only. We'll not use any intelligence above it. Nothing. So that's why all servants are not servants. They are all different categories. They are of different levels. All servants are not of one category. For example, one side is the service of Hanumanji. You all keep hearing the glories of Hanumanji. He serves the lotus feet of Ramji. Am I right? But do Hanumanji, can Hanumanji sleep on the same bed as Ramji? Together on the same utensil, can Hanumanji eat with Ramji? No. But, see Arjuna. He is sleeping on the same bed. He is accepting prasadam on the same plate and when they sleep, they don't sleep embracing each other. They sleep like one side Krishna's feet, their Arjuna's head is there and where Arjuna's feet is there, their Krishna's head is there. And then they embrace each other like this. So Arjuna also is a servant only. But see, what different kind of servant he is. Hanumanji is in some kind of limitations. He cannot go beyond that. But see Arjuna, how he is doing. Lord is running his chariot also. Hanumanji accepts Ramji on his shoulder. But Ramji never accepts Hanumanji on his shoulder. But here Krishna, he has himself become a servant of his beloved 
Arjuna. That's why, my brothers, this servant and this service, this philosophy, this concept is very elaborate. Which service is providing happiness to my mind and what ha service is providing happiness to my Guru's heart? We have to hear, understand this. Why I have lifted this thing, this topic? Because the Lord of Vaikuntha, Narayan, he is desiring something and the God, Jaya and Vijay, they are desiring to fulfill the desire of their Lord. What's the desire of the Lord? To have some fighting with someone. So they are actually rejecting all their self-respect, all the limitations, just considering the happiness of the Lord. Just considering their happiness in the happiness of the Lord. This is Uttam Sevaka. That's why Jai Vijay, in his mind itself, he prayed to the Lord, O Prabhu, who will fight with you in Vaikuntha? So, we want to give you that bliss of fighting. So, that's not possible in Vaikuntha because for fighting there is a requirement of mode of passion and ignorance. But in Vaikuntha there is no mode of passion, no mode of ignorance. So, how can we fight here? Because Vaikuntha, the meaning of Vaikuntha is where there is no Kuntha, where there is no passion, ignorance, where there is no fighting, where there is no death, where there is no disease, no distress. That is Vaikuntha. And for fighting, see, nobody fights with love. First, some abusing words should be there, some uh, kicking and punching should be there. Nobody with so much love says, Oh my dear, please go and die. Nobody says like this. So in Vaikuntha, it cannot be possible. So, oh Lord, you sent us to the earth, planet, which is full of passion, ignorance and all. So, Jai Vijay, they are praying like this. They are getting to this extent to serve their master. Just to serve their master. And what about us? Just in front of us, our worshipable is present, our Guruji is present, our master is present, but still we do not want to serve. We do not want to serve. That's why Jai Vijay, they are Uttam Sevaka. Okay, how can he understand Lord Narayan who is sitting in, inside the chamber? Because these are the guards who are outside. So how come they got to know? Because the servant and the master, the heart becomes connected. That relationship is becoming so strong. The one who serves more, naturally there is more inclination towards that person who is serving more. And the one who serves, staying near Guruji, he can understand the mood of Guruji. Whom to say what, when to say, he learns. That's why serving according to them, according to them, is greater service. Tanman jeevan guru pade arapana. For that, one has to keep one's own life in the hands. Our Gurudev used to say like this, until this mood does not come in the heart of the disciple that, Oh Guruji, my life also is surrendered to you. Guruji said this because he himself said that, Oh, I have myself without thinking anything that where I will get happiness, where I will get distress. What will happen? We just gave our whole life to our Gurudev. In whatever situation he wants to keep us, I will stay in that situation. In whatever situation. Our Guruji, when he stayed in the ashram, so some God brothers, he, they, they complain that, oh, we do not get chapatis, we get only rice. 
So our Maharaj, he gave an answer. He said that when I came in the temple, I gave, came in the mud to serve my Guruji, at that time I did not sign a contract that you will give me chapatis only, then only I'll stay, otherwise I will not stay. There was no such agreement signed between us. In whatever situation he will keep us, I will stay in that situation, that condition. If he keeps me in happiness, and keep me in facility, keep me in uh, distress, keep me wet, dry, keep me with love or keep me with anger. I have just sold my life at the lotus feet of Guru. Until or unless the disciple does not have this kind of mood that I have sold myself at the lotus feet of Guru, till then the servant cannot never become real servant. See, this pride should be there. This kind of uh, identity should be there, that I am the servant. This kind of pride, this kind of ego, this is true ego, this is not false ego, that I am the servant. Hanumanji, with so much pride, he is saying that, that I am the servant in front of Ravan. When Hanumanji, he is staying with the devotees, then all the devotees are saying that, Oh Hanumanji, you are the best of all servants. And Hanumanji says, Oh what? I am not able to serve anything. Service is done by Lakshmanji. How Bharatji has served Ramji. I am not serving at all. So there, no pride will be used. But when he goes to Ravan in Lanka, if you go and say there, oh, I do not serve the Ram, serve Lord Ram, that will not work. There with so much pride he is saying, hey, I am the servant of Lord Ram. So there, that pride of being the servant is there. So is that's why, until and unless the disciple has this kind of mood that I am the servant of my Guru and I have just sold my life at the lotus feet of my Guru, now I don't have any right on this life, on this body. Brought 2 kg apples from market, suppose. And then we have given the money also to the shopkeeper. Now if we eat that apple or just throw that apple, the shopkeeper does not have any right to say anything now because he has sold it. So, until the servant gets this mood in the heart that I am sold and I am the servant of my Guru. Till then he can never do real service great service. If there is always something, oh, little bit mine, little bit of Guruji, till then there will be no success. Okay, 70% Guruji's and 30% mine. No, that's also will not work. Oh, 80% Guruji's, 20% mine. I'm not talking about money. Means 20% my desires are mine. And 80% uh, my desires I have given to Guruji. Okay. Okay, 90, 10. Okay, 95, 5. Still not. 99%, 1%. Guruji says that that 1% also should be given to me. 100%. This is called fully surrendered. Until and unless one does not surrender oneself completely. Till then, one can never become or develop oneness with Guruji. And I have experienced. You have to give your everything, your respect, your dignity, your pride, your background, everything. Try to do this once. How blissful it is. You will experience the bliss from yourself and just do it and if tears do not come from your eyes, then tell me. Shri Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada Ji When in 1965 he started preaching and like fire he just spread this Hare Krishna movement in the whole world then one day he was giving initiation. Now he saw that everything has happened in, uh, he saw in the map that Russia is there above 
India. So he started uh, pointing that Russia. So the disciples who were near him, they they asked, "Oh, Prabhupada, what you are doing?" He said, "Oh, this Russia. This this is left. Else everything is covered, I guess." Now who will go? <laughs> Prabhupada ji asked, hey, I don't know who will go. You you tell who will go. You go there, preach there, open a center, then I'll come. Now the disciple may start shivering, just remembering this. Oh, what? I will be alone. Where I'll eat? Where? What I'll do? What I will do? What I will do? How can I do everything like that? So the disciples, the disciples, they said, they could not even say these things to Prabhupada Ji, because Prabhupada Ji himself started everything from zero. Prabhupada Ji said, I do not know. You three go and establish a temple there. That's it. See, with so much with so much confidence he sent the disciples and today most preaching happens in Russia there are millions of people who are chanting Hare Krishna there they have left even onion and garlic meat eggs no intoxication nothing they have completely become pure but the point is the disciple has been sent there so how they got one Russian how all the favorable situations arose and the preaching began this is called complete surrender what Prabhupada Ji has said that's it he has said it he was walking in Mumbai on Juhu beach he was having a stick in his hand he walks with that he just kept his stick there on that place and said that here should be a temple now everyone started thinking that how can a temple be built here this is a very expensive land Prabhupada is saying I'm already seeing a temple in future here you are not able to see that and seeing like this a beautiful big temple became there in Juhu Beach so did he go by himself he sent his disciples he sent his servants who gave their whole life for the service of Guruji just try it once and then you'll see that this thing we ask now how when will I attain bhakti when will I attain bhakti bhakti will come when you become uttam sevak the heart will melt tears will come out from the eyes will not be able to take the name of Guruji just remembering him tears of love will start falling why because at that time so much affection so much attachment will develop for Guruji this is service and Jai Vijay they are serving the Lord you may ask that oh fighting with someone is this service yes it is because there is happiness of Prabhu so how got to know the heartly desire of the Lord of the Master this is because of the connection heart to heart connection the one who accepts and the one who accepts and remembers and meditates on the moods of Guruji then that connection develops naturally and then suddenly the disciple comes and says oh Guruji I was about to say this and I was actually about to uh, speak about this and you already spoke how did this happen because there is a connection and that connection is see this light you are seeing this all these lights all these electrical appliances are working through wires 
so that wire is important so there is a wire connection which is unseen between the heart of a sevak and the master so the jay vijay they are saying that oh lord we want to serve you but we cannot serve here we cannot fight with you here so please send us to earth where there is more of passion and ignorance so this is a thing now on the other side the lord remembered one thing about brahma ji who is the creator see brahma ji's sons are four kumaras now brahma ji is very much caring for the four kumaras sanat kumaras so he is thinking that they are my sons but they are immersed they are absorbed in impersonal brahman the beautiful form of the lord they do not consider they are always residing in impersonal brahm oh lord oh prabhu please do something please do something on my sons may they have darshan of your beautiful form and stay and become your devotee worshiping your personal form they don't stay as an impersonalist then the lord did his magic and this is very natural thing actually see tulsi is always offered at the lotus feet of the lord tulsi itself has its own fragrance and above that when that tulsi which is touched with the lotus feet of the lord so that lotus feet also has such a strong splendorous fragrance such beautiful fragrance comes out from the lotus feet of the lord and also when the tulsi fragrance gets mixed with that now the smell the fragrance when it moved with the air and it reached into the nose of these four kumaras now they all the completely immersed in that impersonal brahm when they smelled this fragrance they got really mesmerized thinking that what is this what beautiful fragrance is this from where it is coming it is attracting us so much now just walking into that direction they reached vaikuntha directly in vaikuntha there were guards standing outside now these four kumaras how old are they just 5 years old they never grow more than 5 years old and they also do not accept any clothes why because this age is called as kumar kumar acharit pragya like prahlad ji also was 5 years old this age is called 5 years kumar that age in which there is no lust the heart is completely pure and innocent little little 5 years old boy they do not even know the difference between man and woman where there is no difference that means they are having very pure innocent tender thoughts their intelligence but as soon as this difference starts coming that i am man that girl that is girl that is woman as soon as this thing comes the lust starts coming because the difference is visible a little boy a little girl 5 years old she or he does not have any lust very pure soft heart understand this carefully see this past time which i am saying is not ordinary there are so many teachings hidden in this and if the past times of the lord does not have teachings then how how the sadhakas will get inspirations as soon as that air entered into the nose of these four kumaras smelling that they reached vaikuntha they were completely without clothes now they were entering into vaikuntha but jay vijay the guards of vaikuntha they stopped these four kumaras a hey, little children you cannot go in vaikuntha like this this is vaikuntha this is not the procedure to go so they stopped these four kumaras now when they stopped 
Now the four Kumaras they saw what just few movements back some servants went inside taking some water taking some flowers for the lord these two guards they didn't stop them but they have stopped us this means that they have enviousness this they have partial mindset in their heart in the mind they have the fault of partiality they are letting them go but not letting us go they are letting some people go but they are not letting us go vaikuntha is the place where there is no enviousness where there is no partiality everything is perfect pure soft tender so at that very time taras they just cursed that you have this kind of mindset that's why we all give you both the curse that you go and reach on the lower planets full of mode of passion and ignorance they are shivering they themselves in their mind pray to the lord that we want to give you the happiness of fighting but that is impossible in vaikuntha so you have to send us to the material planets now all to they were praying like this then why they are shivering out of fear when they got this curse this is all because of the potency of yog maya the potency of yog maya she sometimes hides and sometimes bade uh, bade shows uh everything big big guru vargas they are all servants of the lord but yog maya ji she covers these great personalities also and these guru vargas they themselves don't know that they are mahabhag but they are associates of the lord because of the yog maya they think that oh we are ordinary for example the lord also he does not himself get to know that i am the lord oh, where are where are my cows hey, where are my cows why my where are my sakhas he knows everything but he does not know anything now because yog maya yog maya ji covers him as yog maya covers the lord why for the happiness of the past time for the fulfillment of past times because from that only comes happiness okay the guards they stopped four kumara so is it their fault in that think about it they are doing their service there should not be any difficulty there should not be any difficulty in the respect of my lord the 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 guards they stopped these four kumaras so did they do any fault no they do, don't do any fault they were engaged in the service of their prabhu they know they know where our prabhu likes what our prabhu likes what he does not like so the servant always thinks that my master should not get disrespected his respect should not get in danger wherever he his respect is reduced then that servant will get angry and now when he'll get angry then you don't ask why you are getting angry he is bearing everything for his own self but when there is some disrespect to the guru when there is some uh, difficulty in service then he will not be able to tolerate for example in vrindavan radha ji is there she serves krishna in all ways but who is the counterpart of radha ji her name is chandravali krishna goes near them radha ji does not really i uh, have any tension that oh krishna is going in other uh, gopis kunjas she is not having any kind of enviousness 
if radha ji gets envious then none of us would be able to chant hari krishna if she thinks that oh krishna is mine only she is having such big heart that oh everyone serve my krishna everyone serve my love my krishna such is the heart of radha rani and everyone who chants radha radha in vrindavan radha ji at once include them in the service of krishna but she does not like one thing that where my krishna is not getting full happiness and bliss there i get some problem in the heart i know perfectly that as i can serve krishna i can satisfy krishna fully chandravali will not be able to do this is the reason that he is more happy he is not as happy with chandravali as with radha rani krishna is so most happy with radha rani why because when there comes the point of service where there the servants are very intelligent that's why jay vijay because of their service because of their prabhu they stopped four kumaras now they got cursed now why you got scared oh because we got cursed as soon as they got cursed from inside came lord narayan lord narayan came through his servants with his servants now lord narayan came running towards the door now who informed narayan ji inside who informed narayan that the disciple has got cursed the servants have got cursed on the door the guards the gatekeepers they have got cursed nobody actually told then how the lord got to know because there is a connection of there is connection as soon as the servants got this curse just bare feet without accepting the shoes they reached Na- narayan reached outside see in vaikuntha narayan always accept shoes but in krishna as a board we see that krishna does not accept shoes but in vaikuntha he is having his standards he maintains his position when he walks then everyone just announces hey vaikuntha prati narayan is coming and all the servants they start coming and they at once throw fragrant water applying umbrella using chamar fanning him glorifying him ridang is played and with so much uh, style so much elegance lord narayan walks this is not vraj in vraj ka nahi hai is just jumping here jumping there and jumped in yamuna ji and there but in vyakunt it's a strong profile a high profile but when the servants got cursed at that time vyakunt pati narayan he ran like anything to reach on the gate and he took lakshmi ji also with him hey lakshmi come with me as soon as he reached there the four kumaras had darshan of narayan they had darshan of the lotus feet of narayan he said oh from there only that fragrance was coming so why did lord actually did not put shoes while going no because by the prayers of brahma ji lord narayan is thinking that oh i have actually attracted these four kumaras through my lotus feet they have come to have darshan of my lotus feet so i'll just walk bare feet and give them darshan of my lotus feet i will not accept shoes so how so ever opulent how so ever high profile he is having but when comes the love for the devotees then the lord forgets everything the best of all quality is bhakti vatsalya samarthan bhakti vatsalya do you understand bhakti vatsalya ke vatsalya prem mein bhagwan sab bhul jata 
लॉर्ड फॉरगेट्स एवरी थिंग इन द लव ऑफ डिवोटी हाउ मच लव द लॉर्ड गिव्स ओ ही हैज कम ही इज कमिंग to have darshan of my lotus feet so i will also walk where feet to give darshan of my lotus feet that's why it has been said the best of all is love love is the highest thing this is the best of all qualities of the lord all glories to bhakt vatsal bhagwan
हरे कृष्ण देव कृष्ण गोयल जी कान बोल गए एक मंत्र फूक गया मेरे कान मैं मंत्र सुन के दुविधा में पड़ गया कहते हैं साढ़े सात तक अब ये नहीं बताया एम या पी एम बैकुंठ नाथ सिंह नारायण एक एक बात को यदि हम मंथन करें Lord of Vaikuntha Shri Narayan, if we just understand everything properly, then we will really get to know the nature of the Lord. Lord Narayan, running like anything without accepting any service, came without the shoes. He came to the gate. What is the meaning of this? That means the Lord can break His own walls. He makes or He keeps the happiness of the devotee higher. These four Kumaras came to Vaikuntha because of me, and in fact. The point is something else. The Lord attracted them through the fragrant of His lotus feet. So the Lord mercifully is giving His fragrance. But he is himself calling, attracting them, but still he is considering, Oh, no, 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 these four Kumaras has come walking towards me. This little service that we do to the Lord, he considers that, Oh, so much service, you offered me a little Tulsi, really? Oh, you came to hear one day Bhagavad Kata? For me only you came. Just th seeing this, he becomes so blissful. Oh, this person did this for me. Oh, for me, you did Ekadashi for me. This mood that the Lord has, now the Lord Himself just sold Himself to that devotee. Oh, He's doing so much for me. He did so much for me. So the Lord considers that little service as a very big service. This is His nature. <coughs> That everyone actually shows one's nature. The one who is very humble, he sees everything with humility. The one who is very angry, he sees everything with anger. Whatever spectacles a person wear, he sees the whole world like that. If he is wearing yellow goggles, then everything looks yellow. If green goggles, then everything looks green. The Lord, he sees his own nature. Through, through his own nature, he sees. Oh, this person has come for me. So he ran like anything and took Lakshmiji also with him. Why did he took Lakshmiji also? To show this that these four Kumaras have come to take my darshan. So I will just take Lakshmiji also with me and I'll just establish this that I do not stay alone. I always reside with my potency. So don't consider me as impersonal, formless, qualityless. I am always full of quality. I am full of form. And I always reside with my potency. That's why the Lord, out of compassion, He took the concert, Lakshmi also. Now the Lord came. And as soon as the four Kumaras had darshan of the lotus feet of the Lord, devotion came out in their heart devotion developed in their heart and wherever devotion comes now the first symptom of that devotion what is the first symptom of that devotion there is a symptom of everything we go to doctor and say oh doctor I have so strong fever and when he touched he found oh there is your body is completely cold 
सो विल से यू आर लाइंग टू मी अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग द चाइल्ड डज नॉट बॉन्ड टू गो टू स्कूल इज इज आई गॉट फीवर मम्मा बट देन द मदर टच इज एंड पॉइंट सेट है देर इज नो फीवर यू आर कम्प्लीटली कोल्ड और ही से आई एम हैविंग कफ ए योर वॉइस इज ऑल्सो राइट योर नोज ऑल्सो इज नॉट रनिंग सो फ्रॉम सिम्टम्स वन गेट्स टू नो दिस सो दिस सिम्टम्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू कम सो दैट्स वाई हेयर ऑल दिस सिम्टम्स आर सीन हैविंग दर्शन ऑफ द लॉर्ड भक्ति केम इन द हार्ट एंड वेन भक्ति कम्स इन द हार्ट द फर्स्ट सिम्टम दैट कम्स इज रिपेंटेंस रिपेंटेंस कम्स फर्स्ट एंड इफ देर इज नो रिपेंटेंस देन दैट मीन्स भक्ति हैज नॉट कम The four Kumaras had got this repentance. What is that repentance? Oh, we came to Vaikuntha and we cursed the servants of the Lord. See, these moods were not there previously. First, he was saying, as soon as he came, hey, how come he? They stopped me. They stopped us. We'll just curse them, and they cursed also. So initially, the situation was completely different. But as soon as bhakti came in the heart, the situation completely changed because they had got darshan of the Lord, and through darshan of the Lord, bhakti came in the heart. And as soon as bhakti came, repentance also came. Oh, what I have done! Coming to Vaikuntha, I have cursed the servants of my Lord. Those who are always in the service of my Lord, we have cursed them. So they paid obeisances, folded their hands, and at that time, what the Lord is saying? He is saying, "Oh, four Kumaras, offence to my servants is my offence is offence to me. Offence to my servants is offence to me." You are Brahmanas, and I eat from the mouth of Brahmanas only. What is the glory of Brahmanas? Their curse I do not also uh, remove. I also accept the curse by Brahmanas. So that's why the Lord Himself is describing the glories of Brahmanas. but he is again and again saying my servant my servant my servant and through this is donating to the guards the gatekeepers so from this itself the brahmanas could understand that oh who is lord's hims own and who is stranger to the lord by us calling us as brahmanas and respecting us is actually considering us not so close but he is saying my servants my servants to the gatekeepers and he is loving them so much he is considering them his very own but to us he is not considering so this showed that who is more near and dear one's own servants are always very dear and near now seeing this the four kumaras felt some disrespect that oh the lord is glorifying us the lord is glorifying us but he is taking the offense of his servants on his own self he is saying that the offense of servant is the offense of the master so why the lord is showing so much affection to his servants because the servants shows his affection to the guru to the master in the service of his master he always finds his happiness in the happiness of the master there was a great guru shankaracharya his name was shankaracharya ji unke ek sevak ka naam tha gobind there was one servant called gobind he was very simple kuch nahi jaanta he did not know anything lekin apne guru ji ki seva prarth karta he gives service to guru with so much love day and night whatever guru ji wants he is ready for that now one day shankaracharya ji he is sitting in front of thousands of disciples 
Now, each disciple was so great, so intelligent, scholar. Now, one of the disciples asked this question, Guruji. Just imagine, if the disciples are so uh, high class, then how high class the Guru must be? So they asked, one disciple asked Shankaracharya that this is the word, this is the statement of the scripture I am not able to understand. We are all not able to understand. Can you please explain? Hearing this, Shankaracharya became silent. Everyone is watching his face. Why he is not speaking? Now one disciple asked, Guruji, please give the answer of the question. Shankaracharya said, Yes, yes, my servant Govind will come and he will give an answer. That's why I am silent. Everyone in the assembly started laughing that this Govind, he does not know even S of Sanskrit. And this deep question, how he will answer this? So everyone started laughing there. They are all big, big scholars, big, big speakers. They are saying that, Oh, we do not know the answer of this. What this Govind will say? What he will speak? Now, in the meantime, that Govind with water in the hand, with some umbrella in the hand, he is murmuring something and coming to Guruji. That, oh, Guruji must be thirsty and also some sunlight will come, so I'll bring the umbrella also. With umbrella and water, he is murmuring something and he's coming. So from the far, he was visible. As soon as he came, everyone could hear his murmuring. So that what he is murmuring was actually the answer of the question asked by this assembly. He was actually singing something while coming, while walking. So that what he was singing was the answer of the question that has been posed in the assembly. And Govin, he kept the water in front of Guruji and kept a umbrella. Now everyone got really amazed that how come Govind got to know all these, these things? Such a deep thing. That thing which we do not know. How come he got to know that? Then Shankaracharya Ji smiled. And everyone really bowed down in front of Govind. How he got to know all these things? Through service. A person may become very intelligent reading some scriptures, but he cannot become a sevak. But the one who will serve and serve with love and affection, that person will become intelligent also and a servant also. I will give you another example. There was another Guruji whose name was Ramanujacharya. In South India, he has very big, big temples, Shri Sampradaya. Very big Acharya. Thousands and millions of disciples. There was his disciple who was very intelligent, he knew all the scriptures. But there was something in his heart that I should uh, speak Hari Katha and I should become famous. And through that, Guruji will also be served by that service. So he had more desire for his own prestige and has less desire for the service. He is thinking, oh, I have learned so much, I have read so many scriptures, I can speak so nicely. So all these things, the purpose is to become famous. But the, these are the words of scriptures that say, say, Vidya Rafala Janyo Nishya Krishna Pad Padme Jadi Chitta Vritta Hai. What is the result? What is the fruit of uh, education? Understand this. Just completely, properly understand it. So what is the result of that education? To develop some attachment at the lotus feet of the Lord. This is the only result of... This is the only fruit of education that may we develop some determination. May we develop firm faith at the lotus feet of the Lord. In the bhakti of the Lord. Getting famous is not the fruit actually. So that disciple came to Srila Ramanujacharya Ji. So he is going with the order. 
asking the order only so he is saying that if you order me i can just go and preach and i can make everyone devotees so this was his own desire actually but guru ji said no i cannot give you this order oh guru ji then can any uh, do you have any other order for me he said yes yes i have you go in that village in that village there is my female disciple she is my daughter like daughter she is my female disciple so you go in her house you clean her house and you clean the utensils all the uh, menial services in the house you do that this is your service i give you this order now the disciple became really amazed what surprised shocked is guruji really uh like in proper state what he is saying i am so intelligent i can speak hari katha i can preach i think he is really missing some link he must be saying this to someone else but he is saying to me he said guruji it's me guruji said yes yes i know that to you only i am giving this order let go go to that female disciple and go and serve and there is there are words of scriptures these are the words of scriptures that without thinking even twice without thinking even once just blindly follow the words of guru aage guru hai vichar nahi because his understanding is much higher than ours we think that we are very intelligent but his intelligence is obviously higher than us so the disciple said okay my gurudev as an, as as you say if i keep anything in between then it will be like my selfishness i have to satisfy guru ji's order only if i will not satisfy guru ji's order so how will i attain perfection so howsoever that order is i am giving you these two or examples understand this example in the next example also second example is in vrindavan there is radha sham sundar ji's temple how many of you have been there radha sham sundar ji's temple un sham sundar mandir ji ko seva karne wale unke jo sevak shamanand prabhu the servants the servant of sham radha sham sundar is shamanand prabhu when he came to vrindavan 500 years back that time his guru ji shri jeeva goswami pad ji from whom he used to take instructions he said oh guru ji you gave me so many teachings so what should i do as your service jeeva goswami said that go and sweep the streets of seva kunj he is thinking what anyone can think like this that oh what is this what kind of service sweeping am i a sweeper but agya guru hoya vichar nahi the order that guru ji has given not giving even any thought on that just no words beyond this okay guru ji i am going i'll go to sweep is there any inst- other instructions jiv goswami said remember one thing that whatever if you find anything sweeping the streets of seva kunj always give that to the owner of that thing not anyone else so he thought that okay if guru ji has said like this i will follow that so he is day every day he is sweeping not just one day two day three day every day and uh, sweeping like this one day he got a nupur an ankle bell what is nupur that is ankle bell it was very beautiful so many jewels were there so he started seeing that properly now in the mean time some radha ji sakhis they came and they saw oi shamanand prabhu has the nupur the ankle bell they came and said oh listen these are the ankle bells of our mistress radha rani she was dancing and while dancing this ankle bell just fall out so if she'll go in her house her 
mother in law will scold her so much so please give this ankle back bell of our radha rani to us so now here shaman and prabhu he remembered the words of guru that whatever you find give it to the owner of that thing not to anyone so he said i have got this so i will not give this to anyone else except the owner of this ankle bell the sakhi said no this cannot happen you cannot go to radha ji and then he said i cannot give this is the order of my guru i will not give now what the sakhis will do they had to actually take shaman and prabhu to radha rani radha rani was sitting in a beautiful golden throne he came and by his own hands he applied that ankle bell in the lotus feet of radha ji and radha ji applied that ankle bell in on the head of on the forehead of shaman and prabhu and it became a print it became an impression on the forehead so he got this service of sweeping the streets of sevakunj and how what he became he became a maid servant of radha rani radha rani from her own hands she gave a beautiful deity of krishna that do serve you do the service of this deity before this example i was telling what i was telling you forgot which example i was telling so that disciple of ramanujacharya was told to go and serve in the house of the female disciple and he went he accepted the order he is sweeping he is cleaning the utensil in the house he is doing everything now one day in that same village there came a hari katha speaker the or- the villagers organized a katha program so now when at that time the person who was doing katha so now this uh, disciple when he was cleaning the utensils he heard that katha from the speakers so now he was thinking that what is this kind of katha this is not having any philosophy this is all wrong that he is speaking so he could not really stop himself his hand was full of soap while cleaning so he just without cleaning the hands itself he just reached there in the assembly hey what you are saying all this wrong siddhant wrong philosophy what kind of sanskrit is this what kind of language is this what is the grammar of this what is the literature you are following he asked all these things and then the person who was speaking bhagavat he got really uh, perplexed that what is this these questions uh, i cannot answer them and then he said hey you no more so okay you only tell now when this disciple started saying he spoke such hari katha with beautiful evidences of sanskrit everyone became completely mesmerized he gave so many examples of vedas purana upanishads he just gave a whole chain of evidences because he was so intelligent now the villagers they were completely shocked what is this he was a servant of that woman's house and the, re- the the speaker who actually came to speak he ran from there thinking that i will get beaten by all these villagers of speaking all the wrong things now all the villagers they folded hand in front of that servant they were saying that oh we were considering you as the servant as just a uh, servant of the woman's house that uh, yeah. so you please only do hari katha now now the disciples started thinking that oh i could not really this was not the order of my guru then all the villagers insisted now what he used to do he used to speak hari katha also and he used to work in the house of the god sister also so now everyone in the village they became completely shocked mesmerized by the beautiful hari katha now all the different neighboring villages also got to know this thousands of people started coming to hear his hari katha he became very famous very famous and when so much fame came now he used to cry speaking hari katha his heart melts eyes come out from uh, tears come out from the eyes remembering guru ji remembering the lotus feet of guru and he cries piteously now he says that i understood now why my guru sent me to serve in the house of my god sister i used to think that i am very intelligent and there was a bad desire that i want the prestige 
Guruji made me famous also, gave me prestige also, but that too with humility. Now that prestige will not attack me. If before this, if I would have independently gone to do Harikatha, to sing, oh, there is no one who can sing better than me. There is no one who can speak nice Harikatha as me. I sing so nicely, no one can sing. I know so many shlokas. I would have become puffed up with all these things. And that would have made me fall down. But now, Guruji has given me order and Guruji has arranged this thing. He gave me prestige by his own understanding. Now, that prestige will not attack me and it is actually bringing so much humility in my heart. So, now I am understanding the orders of my Guru. So, although I understood later, but I at least understood the moods of my Guru. So, all the orders of Guruji, there are so many secrets behind this. So, without thinking, one should follow the orders of Guru. In that itself, you will become famous also, you will become perfect also. Without Guru Kripa, one cannot even chant one Krishna's name. What to speak of serving the Lord? He engaged us in the service of the Lord. This is something less. He engaged us in the service of the Lord. This is no less. We were wandering in material world in, with our relatives, with our friends. We were doing little bit devotional service, but He caught hold of us and He gave us proper direction and gave us the donation of that mantra, of that holy name. He gave the donation of the service of the Lord. He is our master and in front of master, how one should go? With puffed up nature or with folded hands? You ask this to that person who is the beggar on the street, who does not get anything to eat. He does not come with a puffed up nature, hey give me food, hey give me money. He considers the donor as the master, considers himself as the beggar. And being in that state of beggar, he, he begs for food. Please give me some food. So in the same way, the servant, he begs for the service from the master. Not thinking that, oh, I have served so much to you, what I have got. Service is that thing which should be taken from begging. And always being grateful to Guruji that, Oh Guruji, you understood me or you considered me qualified for this service. Prabhupada Ji, he preached in the whole world. All God brothers, the whole world started glorifying him. When he was asked, then Prabhupada Ji said, Oh, the Lord chooses the person. The Lord chose me and this is his greatness. It is not my greatness. I did not do anything. He only imparted his potency unto me and he made me do this. So it's his glories. He chose me for this. That's why this is the proper mood. If we see that, oh Guruji, you, would, you could have taken the service from anyone, but you have taken service from me. I am completely obliged. <laughs> 